I'm makeup artist Just In Time, and in this video, I'd like to review the new Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. It's a weightless, beautiful formula that's totally buildable. The coverage of it starts out at about a medium, but you can build it to a full, and because of the way the formula operates, you can really build it without increasing any lines or having it look cakey. It's really formulated to be a medium to full coverage buildable concealer, which is fantastic. This means you can use it both under the eyes, you could use it as a shadow base if you need to. It's also going to be really, really great to use on top of blemishes since it is a long wearing formula. Once it's set with powder, it's pretty much on there. Now this concealer has some really great ingredients in it that really help it to maintain its longevity and also its coverage. It also helps to diffuse light. It has Japanese green tea, which revitalizes the skin and giving it a more fresh appearance. It also has lychee germ, which is derived from the lychee fruit. This helps the skin to maintain hydration throughout the day. It also has Matrixyl 3000, which if you're familiar with the ingredient, does help to slow down the aging process and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles over the day. Now, this product, like I said, is about a medium buildable coverage. It comes with a really nice doe foot applicator. If you're using this at home, you should definitely try to sanitize this at least one to two times a week. If you're a makeup artist, you're not really going to be applying this to a client anyway. You'll dip a Q-tip in or just something else in it to get the coverage, or you can apply this directly to a mixing pan. For today's video, I'm actually just going to put it on the back of my hand. See, it's got a really great coverage. Now, something I really enjoy about this is that it's actually working over the pores. You can still see the pores, but they don't look as deep. Oftentimes, when you put makeup over a pore area, such as the nose, it sinks in and it actually makes them look deeper. This formula, and I believe it's the Matrixel that's doing this, it's really just grasping over it almost so they're just faint photocopies of where the pores used to be. Now once it's on, it's totally blended. This is the medium neutral shade. This is actually the one that I would use for myself. It's beige with a little bit of a peachy tone in it, so it's gonna help to cut out any green, purple, any kind of blue-based dark circle under the eye. And most blemishes are also a blue-based red as well, so this one's a fantastic to kind of blend that in as well. So once you put it on, definitely if you're going to layer this product for a fuller coverage, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. Give it about 30 seconds to a minute. After that, you're more than good to go to put on another layer. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that when I'm doing a full coverage, I like to do the stippling method. For this, you can use a brush, but for the fullest coverage, you're actually going to use your finger. Taking the ring finger and just lightly dabbing it. Stippling really gives you a beautiful full coverage. You really get the maximum amount of coverage when you do the stippling method. And yet still, it does not look cakey. I'm actually going to take this concealer and apply it to myself just very quickly. I always like to bring it into the inner rim of the eye because that's where we carry a lot of depth. Now generally I like to do the foundation first. I do have a bit of a base on already. I like to let the foundation do its job and then come in and tweak it with the concealer as necessary. Since I don't want to put on a full coverage, we're just using a standardized foundation brush and lightly blending, keeping away from the brows, and blending down onto the cheek. Now for a lot of guys, if you're doing grooming, this really might just be enough. Since this is a long wearing formula, you don't really need to set it with a powder. In my opinion, if you do want to use a powder, definitely use a loose powder to set it preferably with a very loosely packed brush or a dual fiber powder brush. Nice. Very smooth, no increase in the lines. It's just a beautiful, smooth coverage going on the skin. It doesn't feel like you have anything on. It's also not too slick, and I really enjoy that about this formula. A lot of concealers are very, very slick, and they kind of glide around, and it makes them more sheer than they need to be. This formula, it goes on true to a nice medium demi matte. And if you don't know what a demi matte is, it's kind of a, a dewy satiny matte. It's not a flat matte, it's just a very healthy, natural matte finish, like your skin would normally have if you weren't sweaty or anything like that. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Naked Skin Concealer. Definitely check it out at UrbanDecay.com or on the Sephora website. If you want to try the product out, definitely hit into a Sephora and check it out. If you like this review, I have a lot of other makeup and skincare reviews and tutorial on my YouTube page, Makeup Artist Just In Time. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to view my work and to follow me in my adventures in makeup, at Justin Time Art. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.